Today I'm going to discuss um, how you balance voices between your hands. And I'm going to use a scale as the model. If you take an A major scale, and let's look at two octave fingering, the left hand has five, four, three, two, one, three sharps, three, two, one, four on B. The most important fingering finger in a scale is where's my four? Right hand four is going to be on G sharp. Thumb two three thumb two three four G sharp. Thumb two three thumb two three four five. Three two one four over and three over. In terms of symmetries between the hands, you have three is on C sharp, three is on F sharp, three is on C sharp, three is on F sharp. I'm just looking at two octaves. Those are important common points between your fingers on the same notes. So that always helps organize your scale a little. And you know you're in the right place if your threes arrive on C sharp and F sharp, at least. And then there's the bridge over the octave. That means where you cross over to the second octave. That's an interesting place where the right four tells the left four to come over the thumbs. You can see that. Coming back, it's the left four on B that tells the right four to come over the common thumbs. This is just a little analysis before we do the voicing. And then at the bottom of the scale, you have five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five. The right hand doesn't do one, two, three, four, five. It goes one, two, three, one, two against five, four, three, two, one. That's an asymmetry, not symmetrical. The very top of the scale, and again, I'm compressing it because you will do more octaves. Um, it will be one, two, three, four, five, starting on D, coming back. Well, the left hand doesn't go five, four, three, two, one, but it goes two, one, three, two, one. And you'll notice your threes will meet, as we know, on F sharp. We know that from picking out where the threes were. So those are the essential ingredients or organizers of that scale. And we have to start talking about um, when you play this scale in parallel motion with the same notes going up and down, um, you want to maybe try different routines. One is perhaps slow 16th notes where you equalize both your hands in terms of the depth of your arm weight into the keys. Let's say an MF, which would be like this. And let's use the 16th as like that. Lean. So I'm pretty much equalizing both hands. practice bringing out the left hand with the same tempo that I did for those sixteenths, but lean more into the left hand and lighten the right hand. So I have to literally think that there's something heavier on my arm here and something lighter on this arm. So right away. Now the other thing is when I roll into the scale, I never start with a punch or a fold down with that weight. I roll into the weight of the scale as I go along. I roll into the dead weight, which means I'm going to roll into a deeper dead weight in my left and a lighter weight in my right, because that's what I'm practicing in terms of voicing. So I was still playing my right hand. Of course, the microphone is over here near the bass. It's probably going to exaggerate the left hand. But I did indeed exaggerate the left hand and very much lighten my right hand. My right hand was doing this, very light. That's what my right hand was doing. And I was listening for that as I was listening for my left hand. I was feeling my right hand, let's put it that way feeling the lightness of my arm and I was leaning into the depth of my arm weight left hand and I was very aware of what I was doing. Now I'm going to reverse it. 
and I'm going to go deeper into my right hand arm weight, rolling into that weight, and play lighter in my left hand, so like this. I hope the effect came through because my mic is again on the left side. The staccato is trickier because you're kind of detaching the notes, which you are, so that if I use a finger staccato, which I'm going to do, I'm going to play a heavier finger staccato in my left hand and a lighter finger staccato. Now, finger staccato is, is like this, like there's little particles to dust. Now, you could have a heavier arm when you dust, or you could have a lighter arm. It looks like it's just my fingers, but my arm weight is going to be behind my fingers to make a bigger finger staccato sound. So here's what I mean. I'm going to go deeper into my left hand for a bigger finger staccato against a lighter finger staccato in my right hand, like this. It was clear that my left hand finger staccato was snapping the same way my right was snapping, but it had more arm weight behind my left hand. Now I'm going to reverse that. So this is going to be the other hand with more arm weight, and this is going to be the hand with less. The ends of the fingers seem like they're the same, but it's the question of how much weight is being delivered to your hand, to your fingers. Okay, so now I'm going to reverse it into the right hand snaps with more arm weight. The left hand is lighter. Okay, here we go. as I wanted. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to a soft dynamic level. So now I'm going to do a finger staccato where it's softer overall in both hands but it's still going to be brought out in the left hand with a softer panorama going across like this. Bring out the left but soft. play a little deeper, let's say MP here, MP here, deeper into the right, less in the left. It's very subtle, but it's actually happening. And as if the mic is cooperating, it will have done that. Now I equalize both hands for soft staccato. Big staccato, both hands equalized. Now I'm not trying to taper it or anything. I'm just trying to. What I'm trying to do is to learn weight transfer differences between the hands. I'm going to just try one more thing. I'm going to do tenths this way. Because you could really hear tenths where you separate the voices by ten notes. I'm going to first equalize to two octaves. Okay. Now I'm going to do left hand deeper. Right hand deeper. So, you know, raise your speeds, um, and you can go across the piano, of course. Bring out right hand. Play 
softly bring out a little bit more of the left hand. I lower my wrist a little bit under the key level so I feel like I'm hugging the keys a bit, get more sensitivity to the soft range. Mm -hmm. 